Something simple that you learn by going to town first. That's an interesting stage choice. Yeah, both characters kill off the top pretty well, so I don't really know why they would want to do this. I think I I think it's because Ike has such a powerful F smash, and just the rest of his arsenal is so powerful that he can easily kill off the side and everything else. But but after he's going to be fishing for these combos for these grabs, and he's also going yeah for the grabs, the down tilts, and he's going to be fairing and airing to keep Diddy out. Mm -hmm. And if he has any quick options, it's his bear. His bear is amazingly fast and really, really strong. But he is currently off stage and woo! Yeah, I, oh, and I, that kills off the top from Tal. Ike's up smash is absolutely amazing for covering the ledge when someone's already grabbed the ledge because if they don't get off the ledge, it can hit them off of it. It can cover jump. It can cover almost every ledge you have. Yeah, Ike's neutral specialist is also just crazy. This looks like it's going to be a really straightforward match. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to pull this back because Nafni is just absolutely dominating the stage right now. At least at the moment, yeah. I mean, the neutral has always gone to Nafni so far. Yeah, I haven't seen Yi take the neutral once, and he's only been getting, been getting in a couple of hits that Nafni just gets right back to it. Yeah. I love what Nafni did there. He. Oh, wow. Wow. Nafni used his neutral B to go ahead and just end it, even though he knew he wasn't going to hit E. He got it. just made sure that he wasn't going to get too much lag when he got back on stage. Yeah, he, he just wanted to make sure that he got he got the pressure on, and then he just made sure that he could get the remaining hit. And that only took one minute. That was only just over a minute. Yeah. Such a fast match. Are we going to see a character swap from E here? Maybe. I mean, you said he has Rosalina, right? He has a Rosalina. At, he... I don't, he doesn't have many other characters, but other than that, Rosalina is probably his, maybe his second best because he's been working so hard on Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And there we go. Rosalina is out. And so, when it comes to this matchup, I think Ike can, I think Ike has not that bad of a time because while he gets comboed easily and doesn't really have much frame data, his attacks are so strong they could get Luma away really quickly. I don't know. I know that dash attack pretty close to the ledge can send Luma off from just a single hit. Yeah. So we are going to smash him for game two. Obviously what Yi's gonna want to do here is to keep Luma alive as much as possible. He's gonna wanna keep Luma in there, he's gonna he's just gonna wanna get the combos and Woo! Already a really good read. That's it. Oh, that's is that? It. That's a stock. That's dead. a stock. Wow. We are 15 seconds into the match. Yi taking no damage, and Nafni is already down a stock. I, yeah, I was about to say I don't think J, I don't think Nafni's going to allow for a JV, but Yi appears to be in control very much of this match. Can't be oh. wrong because he doesn't need to be anywhere close to him. Keep nice pivot grab to keep the stage control. Yi is just dominating right now. He's he is just getting the hits he needs to. And, but Nafni is showing a lot more stage presence right here. The eruption not hitting. Yeah, he is probably going to just try to keep Nafni off stage maybe or in the air while he waits for Luma to come back. So something that Yi does well, okay, that was a really good air dodge read. So he likes to do those mix-ups. He will do that air dodge read from an up throw because he, yeah. he, will, he knows that people will always try to avoid Rosalina's up throw to up air. Because it's so popular of a thing to do. And it's Nafni, so, yeah, and it's such a good option too. Yeah. I like that he used Luna and himself to cover a good bit of area with yeah. some Naf smash. Nafni trying to counter there, but not getting the hit he wanted. Yeah. 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 Alright, Luma's down again. So another thing he really proves that he does well is all, is when he's crawling on stage. He just does such a good job crawling with the mind game. Yeah. Rosalina has the potential to have just an amazing mind game. That was an amazing recovery with Yi. Yeah, he got hit with that one. He got hit with Ike's upbeat, only yeah. a single hit. But the back air taking the stock. Will Nafni be able to make a comeback at 95%? I think Yi is going to be able to close this one out with maybe an up smash or something, or jab five Luma. Um, yeah, Yi, Yi does a really good job being patient. He will wait on the other side of the stage the entire match if he has to. Which is exactly what he needs to do here. He has no reason to approach. Yeah, he, he's going to pressure as well. He's going to try and pressure him with the Luma presence. Very smart, covering his landing with his still Luma down here. I like what he's doing here, just keeping the stage control even before he lost it. Alright, and the double dash attack taking out the Luma. And he's getting his throw combos here. 
all he is probably going to try to do right now is just stall to wait for Luma. Because Luma has so much kill power, and Nappy being at 116%, uh, 119%, sorry, has Ike. Yeah, but what we're seeing is that. Yee, there it is. Yeah, he, nice up smash. Good up smash. But what we saw was that he was actually Let's being go, relatively aggressive at the end. He, yeah. Whenever his Luma's down, he's for some reason aggressive. I, he really needs to take it a little bit slower if he doesn't want to risk mm -hmm. a, a potential comeback like that. Well, maybe this was his thought process. You know how you said that uh, he sometimes goes for the air dodge read after up throw because everyone thinks that Rose is going to go for the up throw up air? Yeah. Well, maybe he was trying to put the, uh, the opponent on tilt by, oh, everyone knows they're going to play this safe, so let's not play it safe. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so many people think Rosalina is going to be a lot more... No, Run away. Rosalina is going to be a lot more safer. Like, like, she's like just going to run away. Sure. She's going to try and run away from all of it. Mm -hmm. But then we, Yi actually proved that he could go hyper aggressive and take it some stops. Yeah. It's actually a little. It's actually a relatively decent mindset. I wouldn't call it the best one because you could still get punished mm -hmm. if they read you well enough. Yeah, but it's and Rosalina without Luma is not the best on offense. Yeah. Alright, so we're starting off the match with a decent Luma already. Alright, I like that. Nappy jumped out immediately because he knew that the up throw up air or up throow up air dodge read could be an issue. Yeah, the up tilt too. Yeah, see, I like how he is playing a bit more optim optimally this match and just spacing things out. Maybe now that he's kind of got caught his composure again, now that he won the match, he was like, okay, I'm good, I can kind of space this guy out now and play the way I should. Yeah, but Nappy is showing, showing a little bit of aggression here. Trying to get in for these grabs and these other forward airs and other things. Yeah. I think he needs to take it a little bit slower while Luma's on the field. Luma, oh wow. I'm surprised Luma didn't die there. Luma's dead. Alright. Yeah, Ike has so many ways to get rid of Luma. But his, probably base, the his base knockback is insane. Yeah, but his best options to get rid of Luma have to be jab and dash attack because of how strong they are and how easy they can get Luma off the stage. A couple seconds ago, Nappy landed by uh, Good re up air. reading Yi's dash attack and landed with a uh, counter, which was very smart because I don't know how I, how well I can land in this matchup because Rosalina obviously is going to try to keep people a buffer. Ike does have his nair and he does have other aerials to try and get him on the ground. But for this matchup, it can be sort of hard for Ike to get up. Oh, and good up smash read. I think that wasn't more of a, maybe more of a reaction because he just that covered so many things. And then when he saw that the roll happened, he was like, "All right, I can just up smash." Yeah, good. that was a that was a really really hard read. He tried to very make. risky too. I mean, there's yeah, it would have killed, but was knowing that this could happen to him, losing all stage control and taking 48 percent from that, was it really worth it going for that read? Yeah, he just gave up all his stage control, and now he lost Luma and already took about 50, 60 percent. <laughs> See, if he would have taken the safer option and just charged down smash instead of up smash, he could have protected himself. From behind, at least. He could have had a lot more options, mm -hmm. and, he could, and he could have been at a less deficit, at and, the very least. And limited Nappy's options greatly. He's dead. Yeah, he but tried the to jump off the ledge, he's dead. But the Luma... Let's go, ye! Yeah. The Luma shenanigans. Wow. Nappy looking to get rid of that Luma, but it stayed on stage. And the Eruption! Almost killing off the top! Eruption's hitbox hits so high. It's so high, and it even hits under the stage, too, and it's yeah, just great. such a threat to any character you're trying to recover. What Yi has to do now is he has to play safe. Yi has to play safe or he's not going to win this. I like oh, that. that was, that was so way. close. What Yi, first, what Yi did with his first jump is to see if he could maybe bait out the Eruption 1 or 2, see if he can get close enough for Luma to up air him, like that. That's oh, it. and the down air, taking it! Nafni wins 2-1 over Yi. Now I've got a match with Nafni, so this is Ithita signing out. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Alright. So, Theta actually.